In the previous section, we've introduced the ethical inventions in ancient China, and the four new great innovations in contemporary times. In this new section, we will try to catch up with China's flying leap in science and technology. In the process of which, China's burgeoning tech titans take to the stage in succession, adding luster to the exciting state-level technological fruits that strike. The world. For years, China has been known as the world's factory, taking up more than 20% of the global manufacturing market. Chinese products are seen everywhere, from clothes, groceries to cell phones, and the Made in China tags, labels, and stickers are ubiquitous around the world. Some may think. The abundance of low-cost labor brings down the production costs, but that is all about to change. The focus of China's manufacturing is shifting from the labor-intensive industry to innovation and high-end production. To promote the high-quality development of the manufacturing industry, Made in China 2025. A first 10-year policy initiative has been launched, aiming the country at a global manufacturing powerhouse. The national plan has listed a wide array of industries, from the information technology and the new energy vehicles to the aerospace equipment. Hardly a single sector in China's economy could be left behind. Under this multi-billion-dollar project, the core of the new Made in China image lies in the high-tech manufacturing. In the Chinese context, it means boosting technological innovation, establishing homegrown brands, and promoting the transformation toward created in China. Therefore. High-tech manufacturers are expected to put more efforts into pursuing quality and efficiency, rather than the mere growth rate, in a bid to enhance the core competitiveness in the global market, while transforming technologies into productivity. The release of the latest 5G sophisticated-looking foldable phone takes the lead in revolutionizing the digital field. In this respect, China has upstaged other countries as the first country switching onto the 5G or the fifth-generation network service to the world's biggest population. Three state-run telecom operators, namely China Mobile, China Telecom, and China Unicom, have recently unveiled the long-awaited 5G plans to 50 cities, providing Chinese internet users with the access to the ultra-fast speed. 5G is on. You can download an entire movie or a season of TV series. On electronic devices in seconds, you can immerse yourselves in popular online games on larger screens with true-to-life -true effects. You will take part in a video conference through a holographic projection. We are seeing science fictions turning into realities. More than just a super-fast connection. We can expect changes in all dimensions of our lives. Generally regarded as a key piece of infrastructure, able to support new data-heavy technologies, this promising next-generation networking technology is bound to bolster China's digital economy and empower its industries with inexhaustible possibilities. Including the medical services, the factory automation, the construction of smart cities, the manufacturing of self-driving vehicles, and telecommunications equipment.
platforms and the applications of the Internet of Things. In the rollout of this cutting-edge wireless technology, Huawei, a leading global provider of information and communications technology infrastructure and smart devices, is playing a pioneering role. Although Huawei has been under mounting pressure from a Western boycott against its business, it has made an exceptional breakthrough in the new consumption arena on a spectrum the foreign rivals can't yet match. As the world's largest telecom equipment provider, this year the company has shipped as many as 70,000 5G base stations and secured 40 commercial 5G contracts. In 2018, the company invested 100 billion yuan in research and development, ranking fifth globally on the EU Industrial R&D Investment Scoreboard. And the company's sales revenue rounded off at 721.2 billion yuan in that year, up 19.5% year on year, according to the company's annual financial report. Huawei's benchmarking position in the telecommunications market is also inspiring China's other smartphone makers like Oppo and Vivo to uplift the industry to a new high by releasing 5G phone products in the fourth quarter of 2019. With more 5G smartphones available in the market, the lofty price and the sporty coverage will become a past. The smarter and faster gadgets with enhanced quality could well pay off in the near future. As one of the local rivals of Huawei, Xiaomi is one of China's biggest tech upstarts, riding the trade wind in the price-sensitive market by offering more affordable smartphones to millions of users. Like Huawei, Xiaomi has made a big international push in recent years, opening new smartphone factories in India setting up new stores and promoting products in European markets. The company also strives to build an intelligent ecosystem, including smart speakers, TVs, and other household appliances. No match for Huawei in terms of the heated 5G smartphones, Xiaomi has carved out its own niche market with a solid customer base. Imagine that we're standing outside the house, outfitted with Xiaomi's home collections. The high-tech magic starts to wield its power. The front door with a fingerprint sensor opens up to welcome us. As we enter, lights and air conditioners turn on automatically. The robot vacuum cleaner is moving around in the rooms, sweeping the floor impeccably sparkling. We say the magic word, giving the order to the speaker, and the curtains get pulled open automatically, revealing the splendid scenery out of the window. We then use the app on the smartphone to control the TV, the computer, and other smart household appliances. If that's not enough, the fresh air system can even act on its intuitive to bathe us in the air of the forest and grassland. Walking through the smart home, we seem to possess the wizardry once reserved for the characters in mysterious fictions. The incorporation of technology into our lives is an irresistible trend. By liberating us from the endless everyday shores, artificial intelligence is supposed to create a more user-friendly environment with thoughtful amenities 
and attentive services. According to its financial report for the first half of 2019, the revenues of Xiaomi stood at 95.71 billion yuan, a 20% improvement compared to the first half of last year. Adjusted net profits came out to 5.72 billion yuan, which is a 49.8% year-on-year increase. Looking into phone shipments, Xiaomi managed to move 16 million units in the period despite stagnating global market. Outside of the smartphone business, Xiaomi's TV line also proved to be a big success, as the company ranked first in China with 5.4 million units for the period, and is now a top five TV manufacturer on the global stage. Xiaomi is boasting that its Internet of Things solutions are now running on 196 million devices across the world. Internet services revenue increased to 8.8 billion yuan, which is a 108% improvement compared to the first half of 2018. Xiaomi CEO Lei Jun commented that the company will further its 5G and Internet of Things commitment, while also increasing R&D spending. Speaking of investments, Xiaomi's R&D expenses totaled 3.3 billion yuan, 30% more than that of last year. Xiaomi tied up only with some popular online e-commerce websites. When its smartphones and gadgets debuted, the online-only sales strategy worked, as its phones and products created quite a buzz at the time. Soon, its rivals followed suit and sold their tech goods online. Today, nearly every well-known brand has leaned to the online sales mode, so that. Online shoppers can get their hands on goods of all sorts, from groceries, clothing, digital products to cars or even houses. Indeed, e-commerce platforms serve as the bridge among businesses and between businesses and customers, allowing brands and businesses to quickly gain a strong foothold in the market. When it comes to e-commerce platforms, Taobao, owned by Alibaba Group, is unquestionably Chinese consumers' number one choice. It is safe to say that there is nothing under the sun you can't get on Taobao, even that beyond your imagination. Offering an unparalleled collection of goods, plus the incredible delivery services. These e-commerce platforms are transforming people's consumption habits in ways never seen before. They themselves are expanding into the behemoths in the trade. For a couple of years, the mega online retailer has been breaking old sales records on its annual Singles Day shopping festival. A 24-hour online shopping spree initiated by Alibaba in 2009, when millions of people would spend billions of dollars snapping up those hot items with steep discounts and markdowns. Remarkably, Alibaba has achieved record high sales of 268.4 billion yuan this year. Dwarfing Black Friday and Cyber Monday in the United States combined, it took just 96 seconds for Alibaba Group to net 10 billion yuan worth of gross merchandise volume on Monday, just after midnight. 
faster than last year's 125 seconds to cross the same threshold. Timo, the cross-border retail site under the umbrella of Alibaba for global brands, saw the transaction volume hit 100 billion yuan in one hour, three minutes, 59 seconds. Its transaction volume surpassed 213.5 billion yuan, last year's total sales, by 4:31 p.m. Monday. Timo logged. One billion delivery orders in 16 hours and 33 minutes, six hours and 45 minutes earlier than last year. Some 120,000 kinds of products were newly imported to China on the Tmall International Platform, and the growth rate hit 300 percent for those brands entering China for the first time. Triumphant news keeps pouring in from other popular platforms. E-commerce heavyweight Jingdong reported its accumulated sales during the shopping carnival held from November 1st to November 11 reached 204.4 billion yuan this year. Suning's omni-channel orders increased by 76%. On November 11 this year, according to the State Post Bureau, all postal and express delivery companies handled 535 million packages across the country on November 11, three times higher than the daily processing volume since the second quarter this year, up 28.6 percent year on year. Like previous years, the event kicked off with a star-studded countdown gala celebration in Shanghai, headlined by internationally recognized singer Taylor Swift, as well as the local celebrities like Jackson E, a magnet among the younger generation of shoppers. They managed to attract worldwide attention to a gala that is equal parts variety show. And unabashed commerce. Given China's massive population and ever-increasing wealth, Chinese consumers and e-commerce are sending a signal of not just continued resilience but evident strength amid the continuing and misleading international headlines about China's slowing economy and consumption collapse. Targeting at consumers worldwide, Alibaba Group has been making diversified overseas investments in a wide range of industry sectors. It has led its international footprint in e-commerce, logistics, payments, marketing services, cloud computing, and meta market businesses. Moreover. By successfully transforming to a technologically advanced company, it is now on a faster track to its growth targets. E-commerce platforms are expected to help build an intangible commercial world in China. Similarly, new mega projects are actually seen under construction. As a golden channel to speed up the infrastructure in littoral areas. One groundbreaking landmark is the Hong Kong Zhuhai Macau Bridge, which has been considered an engineering wonder and a magnificent feat of sci-tech innovations. Coming into service in late 2018, it is the longest, most costly. And difficult sea crossing bridge project in China's construction history, as well as the longest bridge and tunnel sea crossing in the world. For transferring between bridges and the tunnel, two artificial islands were even built on each end of the tunnel. The ventilation and safety design for such a long immersed tunnel 
is admittedly a tough problem in the international engineering community. Additionally, the precasting of the gigantic concrete tunnel elements, their towing and immersion under complicated sea conditions, the connection of tunnel elements under high water pressure, and the water tightness and durability of the element joints, all call for the highest world standards. The entire bridge links the city of Zhuhai in southern Guangdong province with China's two special administrative regions, Hong Kong and Macau. In about 45 minutes, it covers a distance of 55 kilometers, carrying people to the other side of the sea. Many times more convenient and time-saving than in the past, cities that form the economic belt of the Greater Bay Area are now closely and tangibly connected. Apart from the spectacular maritime connection, China's achievements in high-speed rail also deserve the spotlight on the stage. It displays China's efforts to consummate a transportation network over the past decades. China's high-speed rail has made great strides, realizing self-control from hardware, software to the operating system, and will continue to ramp up efforts and share its experience with the rest of the world. Through years of research and innovation, China's HSR has been in the leading position with large-scale construction, huge transport capacity, and cutting-edge advanced technologies. Dozens of intelligent rail lines with autonomous driving and smart maintenance are expected to be put in operation. China will expand the rail system to link cities that have no railways. By 2020, China's high-speed rail, featuring high speed of 250 to 350 km per hour, is planned to reach 30,000 km, covering 80% of major cities connecting major tourist destinations in China. That means, wherever you travel, be it the snowy northern city Harbin or the picturesque city Kunming in the south, you can reach the destination within a day without too much delay of the trip. While connecting areas across the sea, promoting transportation growth on the ground, China also seeks to unlock infinite possibilities up in space, looking to the moon and to the planets beyond. As exploration of space is going ahead, in 2018, when China was supposed to land a spacecraft on the far side of the moon, the land that humans have never set foot on, the world raised eyebrows, doubting the feasibility of the plan. In early 2019, Chang'e 4 probe made the soft landing on the desolate, so-called dark side of the moon for the first time ever, opening a new chapter in lunar exploration. As the China National Space Administration announced, the scientific tasks of the Chang'e 4 mission include low-frequency radio astronomical observation, the terrain and landform survey, the mineral composition detection, and the environmental study on the far side of the moon. Chang'e is the goddess living on the moon in Chinese mythology and the name of all China's moon landers. Well, as a historic first for humanity. The successful landing not just represents a significant step forward on the discovery voyage of the moon, 
but also demonstrates China's enormous capability of space exploration. It will surely contribute to the fulfillment of China's ambitious space dream to establish a long-term presence in the outer space. The Made in China 2025 plan sets out to upgrade the domestic economy, accelerate the transition from a manufacturing-based economy to a knowledge economy, which has foregrounded the patent to the core of the campaign. Lately, China has just become the world's number one owner of intellectual patents. Despite the impressive progress in the protection of intellectual property, Chinese enterprises and frontline researchers are sparing no efforts to improve the overall quality. One thing is for sure: in a country with an inexorable technological progress, the Chinese are embracing a rosy vista.